सो हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू होप यू पीपल आर डूइंग गुड प्रिपरेशन इज गोइंग ऑन वेल सो अगेन इन द सीरीज ऑफ बायोमोलिक्यूल वी आर हैविंग अ लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स लेक्चर नंबर फाइव इज कम्प्लीटेड टिल द फाइव लेक्चर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड द साइकिलिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फ्रक्टोज एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ग्लूकोज एंड फ्रक्टोज सो दिस साइड गोविंद अग्निहोत्री Govind sir your chemistry teacher and now we are going to start a lecture number 6 so be with me and we are going to discuss about the biomolecule so here uh, today's topic is formation of sugar sucrose what is formation of formation of sucrose okay so how sucrose is formed that we are going to discuss so tell me about the hydrolysis of sugar so sugar if we are having and acidic hydrolysis if you are doing that means in the presence of acid it decompose into alpha d glucose plus beta d fructose what is the decomposition alpha d glucose and beta d fructose so that is the decomposition of uh, that sugar sugar is c12 h22 o11 that sucrose if you are doing acidic hydrolysis then alpha d glucose and <coughs> beta d glucose formed so what is the structure of sucrose or cyclic structure of sucrose that in this lecture we are going to discuss so <coughs> check it once what is the um, structure of alpha d glucose so it's, the, it's a six member ring so till this time you have to learn it alpha d that means h oh oh h here h here oh oh h here h here ch2 oh this is alpha d glucose and second is they are saying beta d fructose so it's a fifth five member ring and middle oxygen so not well formed fructose beta d fructose fifth member ring here and oxygen in that case here these are the carbon here we are having oh here ch2 oh here h oh oh h h and that is h o h2 c that means ch2 oh so from where they will link together so once again i am telling you in this case this alpha d glucose from the carbon number 1 make a link with carbon number 2 what i am saying carbon number 1 of alpha d glucose and carbon number carbon number 2 of beta d fructose they will be connected with glycosidic link so how how to get how connection will be done so here you have to flip the beta d glucose 180 degree 180 degree rotate because this is the carbon number 2 here this is the carbon number 2 and here this is the carbon number 
सो वी हैव टू फ्लिप इट ओके वी हैव टू रोटेट बीटा डी फ्रेक्टोज 180 एट्टी डिग्री सो आफ्टर द रोटेशन वट यू आर गेटिंग दैट आई एम राइटिंग हियर आफ्टर द रोटेशन वट यू विल गेट हियर ऑक्सीजन सो हियर एच हियर सी एच टू ओ एच एंड हियर एच ओ एच ओ एच एच एंड हियर ओ एच एंड हियर सो वी रोटेट दिस बीटा डी फ्रक्टोज वन एट्टी डिग्री देन दिस स्पीसी वी आर गेटिंग बिकॉज नाउ दिस इज द कार्बन नंबर टू दिस इज द कार्बन नंबर टू ओके इन दैट केस इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल फ्रॉम हियर वट यू हैव टू डू फ्रॉम हियर ओ एच एंड फ्रॉम हियर एच from here you have to remove water and in between they will link together with they will link together now with oxygen they will link together with oxygen like this <clears throat> so alpha d glucose and beta d glucose connected with c1 c2 and this link is called glycosidic link here <coughs> here i am writing <coughs> okay here this is your carbon number 1 of alpha d glucose carbon number 2 beta d glucose beta d fructose and oxygen so this is called glycosidic glyco सिडिक ग्लाइकोसिडिक लिंक वट इट्स कॉल्ड ग्लाइकोसिडिक लिंक ओके सो इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल वंस अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस इज योर सुक्रोज इट ब्रेक डाउन इन टू अल्फा डी ग्लूकोज बीटा डी फ्रक्टोज अल्फा डी ग्लूकोज स्ट्रक्चर बीटा डी ग्लू फ्रक्टोज स्ट्रक्चर साइकिलिक स्ट्रक्चर then c1 and c2 connection then you have to flip the beta d fructose 180 degree then this is the carbon number 2 and this is the carbon number 1 and they will you have to remove water and connect it with oxygen that's it with the glycosidic linkage okay so what you can say sucrose is a disaccharide why disaccharide because two monosaccharide connected So now, what we have to do? Two monosaccharide connected. That's why you can say it's a sucrose is a disaccharide. What is sucrose, children? Sucrose is a disaccharide because two unit connected. So now, disaccharide. disaccharide what is disaccharide here to form disaccharide you have to join two monosaccharide single sugar two mono two monosaccharide you have to join two monosaccharide then disaccharide form that means monosaccharide plus one more monosaccharide and it will form disaccharide it will form disaccharide okay 
so example of disaccharide sucrose maltose and lactose so we have to discuss all these three formation of maltose formation of lactose also we have to discuss so i hope it is clear now okay <clears throat> in that case one more thing you have to check in the case of sucrose in the sucrose alpha and beta species connected with glycosidic link they are connected with glycosidic link so if you remember in the glucose we are having hemi acetal and in the fructose we are having hemi ketal okay so that means they are reducing sugar reducing sugar they will give positive test positive test they will give positive test with tolens failing and bendict okay so that is the theoretical part children but how you identify that hemi acetal present or hemi ketal present and very important thing if anywhere hemi acetal or hemi ketal is present then that will be your reducing sugar 100% so how to identify to identify hemi acetal what you have to check on the same carbon oh group presence on the same carbon ether group presence and one hydrogen to identify hemi ketal OH group, ether, and one alkyl group. So that is your identification, children. Okay. Once again, I am saying how to identify hemi acetal OH ether hydrogen and how to identify hemi ketal OH ether and alkyl. If any compound have it if any compound have it it will it will be a reducing sugar if any compound have it it will be reducing sugar you can go and check the glucose structure there you are getting hemi acetal oh ether and hydrogen in the fructose you are getting oh ether and r that is also a reducing sugar so this is the important part so in the sucrose what is the structure of sucrose now i am again drawing So here, OH, H, 
एच ओ एच ओ एच 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 सी एच टू ओ एच इन दैट केस हियर हाइड्रोजन एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड विद ग्लाइकोसिडिक लिंक हियर ऑक्सीजन हियर एच हियर सी एच टू ओ एच इन दिस प्लेस एच ओ एच एंड हियर ओ एच एच एंड हियर एच ओ सी एच टू ओके दिस इज कार्बन नंबर टू एंड कार्बन नंबर वन so that is the sucrose structure children alpha d glucose and beta d fructose in both cases we are not having hemiacetal or hemiketal so it is a non reducing sugar sucrose is a non reducing sugar non reducing sugar okay so this is all about the sucrose now one more topic here we will discuss and complete the sucrose invert sugar so same time very easy but you will say everything is easy for me eh? not like that c12 h22 o11 that is sucrose and it is dextro dextro spelling wrong rotatory dextro rotatory means clockwise it rotate ppl clockwise and the angle is plus 66.5 degree if you are doing the acidic hydrolysis then c6 h12 o6 plus c6 h12 o6 one unit of alpha d glucose one unit of beta d fructose so glucose and fructose formed okay in this case <clears throat> in this case this glucose is dextro rotatory and the angle is plus 52.5 degree and here this is levo rotatory and the angle is minus 92 degree why minus because it's a levo rotatory so see children in that case in the container if you are putting this sugar sucrose and you are passing ppl then ppl rotate in the clockwise direction and the angle is plus 66.5 at the same time if you are having this and this both alpha d glucose glucose and fructose both in the container and you are passing ppl plain polarized light you are passing ppl then what is the rotation clockwise or anti clockwise that is the point here see that glucose is rotating the 
clockwise direction and it is rotating the anti clockwise direction so here 92 degree more angle here less angle so who is more effective here that fructose so what is the angle of rotation 92 minus and plus 52.5 from here we are getting minus 39.5 so if ppl is passing from this solution then rotation will be anti clockwise levo rotate rotation and the angle is minus 39.5 degree that's why it is a invert sugar first sugar is clockwise rotation and after the hydrolysis the solution is having levo rotation dextro to levo positive direction to negative direction positive direction to negative direction that is the point about the invert sugar <clears throat> I hope it is clear. Hmm? That is the invert sugar. So this all about the sucrose is completed. Here we have completed the formation of sucrose. So I think that's enough. In uh, one video, we will finish formation of lactose and maltose at the same time. Then that uh, carbohydrate will be completed. So that is it. Thank you, children. Do your preparation well. All the best.